Welcome to my channel, it's me Jana Ndongo and in this video we're going to be reacting to the GQ video 10 things, 10 things that G-Eazy cannot live without. I love G-Eazy, I don't really listen to any of his recent music but like his, I was about to say his previous music, his this his the music in the beginning of his character that's kind of the music i listened to by g easy haven't really followed up on his current music and yeah let's get into the video all right this is being cozy coffee at the crib it's cozy time it was such a cute I'm Gerald, and I'm back for round two to show you my app. Gerald? His name is Gerald? Is this g Easy? Why does he look so different? Okay, I don't, I'm, I'm confused. It's very essential. You know, it's kind of a piece of my uniform, but a piece of myself is my A's hat that I pretty much wear every day. Especially when I'm away from home, from the bay. It's kind of just like a, a thing that, you know, ties me to home and reminds me of where I'm from. I've probably owned over 100 A's hats. This A's hat, um, it's probably, probably a few months in. Still got some life left. I had one that I was like wearing forever. I let it get real, real, real dingy and dirty. And then I got a ton of crisp options. And, you know, making that decision on which one to wear each day is not as easy as it looks. The biggest essential for me is my studio. Studio, home studio. To have an at home studio. This is the upstairs of my studio, so it has to make my plaques, my Kobe jersey, some arcade games. You know, it's a vibe up here, but then downstairs in the real studio, that's why I go to completely work and like lock in and focus. Oh, downstairs is like a chill. No, upstairs it's more of like a chill area, his achievements and everything, and downstairs is like where the real music happens. Okay. That's on arcade games. Is that arcade? That's PlayStation. Don't go to me. Depending on the song I'm working on, depending on the vibe I'm in, I don't know what I would be doing with all the time if I didn't have my studio. I'd go crazy. It's obviously an outlet, a place to express myself and, and mm -hmm. to pour myself into something. I'm usually in the studio with, you know, producers, AR guy. This was just me alone in my studio, so all of a sudden it was like, damn, like, I'm going to just make whatever I want to. Use this time to freely explore creatively and break the rules, because why not? A big at-home essential. That's actually a great, essential. um, what is that, song. benefit of so having an at-home studio. Scent. I didn't know, but, like, a nice scented candle, you're only supposed to burn for, what, like, 20 minutes? And then that fills the room with the scent for, you know, an hour or two or whatever. But, you I know, did not like know that. Of having, like, a ton of candles lit. So, I thought you just light candles, they fill the room with the aroma, and you switch them off before you sleep. Because obviously you don't want to burn down your house. I did not know you only had to switch them off for 20 minutes. So a big at-home essential, you know, and a, a way I've spent a lot of time during quarantine has been reading. You know, sometimes but... it's hard with how busy life gets. It gets hard to like just sit down and, and, and focus. But for me, reading over quarantine has been a practice of... You know, remembering to focus, to slow down, and to chill. I read a uh, post office, Charles Bukowski. I'm reading Farewell to Arms right now. I'm just getting wet. Chuck Palahniuk, Choke. And then probably the favorite thing I read over quarantine was Acid for the Children. It's a memoir by Flea for Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like, I loved Red Hot Chili Peppers as a fan, but, like, I didn't, I got to know a lot more about Flea and his, you know, upbringing, his youth, his, mm -hmm. you know, his whole backstory. That, I love Fitzgerald. I love, like, like, classic, like, timeless, like, authors that are, you know, that iconic and I feel like going back I feel like I'm not a big reader anymore well I don't read as much as I used to because I read a book I read a lot of books for school so like when the opportunity is there for me not to read I'm just kind of like why should I let me watch Netflix or something but yeah I definitely need to get back into reading transport you to a different time and place reading is been a big thing over quarantine and it might be a great way to just like pass the time and chill at home music is you know as, you know as essential as anything is in my life yeah. listening to music in the right way so i have marshall speakers all around the house there's 
aesthetically pleasing. They look like old amps and the sound quality is great. I listen to music every single day. That's one of the first things when I wake Same. up. Same. I'm downstairs, made my coffee, put some music on immediately. Yeah. I've been building a record collection for a long time, but there's a, there's a part about putting a record on. It's like, yeah, the click of a button on your phone, you can have any song they ever made anywhere. But there's like a, there's a respect you put on the process. You take that record out, you put the record on, it's an experience. It's not just background music. You know, I've always background. wanted a record you player. Yeah. I think the time that I wanted a record player so bad was like when I was really into Lana Del Rey. Like the time of Summertime Sadness, Born to Die, um, Ultraviolet. That time I wanted a record player so bad. Because I just thought like this music would sound probably 50 times better on a record player. Yeah. Uh, Radiohead, the bands, Mac Dre. Like there's a lot of variety. It's atmosphere. So obviously a big essential. You know we've all been in the house. You know getting dressed is not what it used to be. So sweatsuits are. You know that's a go-to. This one's on fire. Uh, my favorite is Supreme. Anytime I find something I really like, I usually just buy backups. You know when you find something that you really like, it's like all right, yeah, let me love it. So I enjoy wine. This white I like like a Sauvignon Blanc, something dry and crisp. Skin. Citrusy. A friend of mine I like really into wine. We're staying with me at the house. So just like trying all different kinds. So it's just like a dope like part of the night. Like you cook the dinner and have a nice wine with it. How often wine is good. Wine. Well, it depends on the night. Coffee is an essential. I don't I'm drink coffee. coffee. I used to, not anymore. Anybody I can't think before I've had a cup of coffee. It's just like, just don't bother me until I've had my coffee. Sometimes I'll just do espresso, sometimes a drip, pour over coffee, sometimes a French press. I like Pete's coffee. I mean, pizzas from the bed. I just think coffee is delicious. And it's the whole, again, it's the process of like, you know, making a French press or, you know, the smell mm -hmm. of espresso. I usually just drink it black, maybe some cream. A dash, not a splash. How many cups of coffee do I a have? A dash, I not a splash. I like to say, but probably like 45 cups a day. Way more than I should be having. 45? Did he say 45 or maybe I'm just not hearing correctly because that's a lot of coffee. I don't drink coffee. It's not like I don't like coffee. I just don't care for it. Like I survive, I survive pretty well without it. So I just don't drink it. But 45 cups? Gee, easy. That's an addiction. That is an addiction. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but... My critical Honestly, thinking you know, led me to this conclusion. My treadmill is like that's where I treadmill. go to meditate and just like find that calm. Yeah, I like running to film scores. I love the Dark Knight score. I love um, Requiem for a Dream. That score is one of my favorites. Getting thirty minutes, like three miles, three minutes in, like per day, it just feels good after you after you get that done. You gotta find ways to stay healthy. During quarantine, I think a lot of us have had the opportunity to inwardly reflect and decide like what we want to change or that's so or true. evolve into. I've always wanted to learn how to play piano and learn how to sing, and I've spent a lot of time working with a teacher and a coach. I mean, I started just by like by ear, like I would put a record on and like just start to play to it, figure out what key it's in, and find the scale, and, but like spending the time to really like work on that and learn how to play piano. The piano is like a, even as a piece of furniture, it's essential to like at home, you know what I mean? It makes my home feel like a home. Pre-quarantine, we were doing jazz night at Jerry's, you know, like a little get together, like we'd all like cook up dinner and then just play and listen to jazz and like, you know, drink some wine, and, you know, smoke and so Chill it's vibes. It's an upright, it's an old one. I didn't want to get something like brand new and fancy and clean. I think there's like a rustic quality to like an old piano. And it mm -hmm. just reminds me of my grandma's house. I'll sit at the piano every single day. Sometimes I'll sit down for five minutes, sometimes I'm there for two hours, like in a trance. Music is something I tend to get lost in. You know, it can be that way in the studio, all blank and you know, eight hours have passed. Thanks again, GQ. I appreciate the opportunity. Much love to you guys. Those are my essentials. Those were 10 essentials, 10 essentials, 
10 things that g Easy cannot live without. I think he said his name is Gerald. I might be lying. I might be wrong. I might have misheard. But a lot of his um, 10 things that he can't live without, they're quarantine-based. Like things that he has kind of been more that have kind of been more of an essential ever since he has been in quarantine so that is it's a little bit different from the previous one that i did on kalani because kalani's ones were quite general like her everyday life type of thing so yeah and also check kalani's video out the one that i did on 10 things kalani cannot live without it was interesting might make a playlist on it might not i don't know yeah but thank you guys for watching leave a comment down below leave a reaction video suggestion down below and you know let's engage in the comment section and subscribe for more content and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>